Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout for Library. Well, you know, it's just almost that time of year again that a jolly fellow in a red suit starts his long trip around the world with his flying reindeer pals. You probably know who I'm talking about, right? Santa, of course, and his magical flying reindeer. Well, I have a story to share with you called Who Will Pull Santa's Sleigh? It's about when Santa built his brand new sleigh and was looking for just the right kind of animals to guide him on his long flight. He puts out an advertisement looking for animals and it's lots of fun to see just who shows up. I also have a simple holiday science sink or float activity that you can do at home. And if you want to skip ahead to that part, just look in the description box below for the link that will take you to that part of the video. But for now, let's begin with the funny story called Who Will Pull Santa's Sleigh? Who Will Pull Santa's Sleigh? Written and illustrated by Russ Wilms and published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. It was Santa's first time delivering presents to boys and girls all around the world, and he wanted everything to be perfect. The new sleigh had just been painted, and the elves were finished making the toys, and Santa's suit was looking fine. Just one more detail to work out. Who was going to pull Santa's sleigh? Santa knew it was a big job, and he needed to find the best of the best, and he had only seven days. So he wrote a job description and sent it out to all the animals. Sleigh pullers wanted. Group of animals needed to pull sleigh on top secret mission. Must be able to work as a team. Landing accuracy important. Only one night of work each year. See the world? Full benefits, including dental. Please report to the North Pole for an interview ASAP. Magic flying dust will be provided. Signed, Santa. The next morning, the interviews began. First up, the bats. Now, we only work at night. We want to hang out in the chimneys. Next, the slots. We like to take our time. Maybe one house a night. Next, the sharks. Can we eat the presents? Can we eat the trees? Can we eat the elves? Mmm. Up next, the goats. <sighs> Santa chose the top teams for a test run. But the bunnies were too bouncy. The skunks were too ugh, skunky. P -U. The gophers were nowhere to be found. The raccoons were making out like bandits. The elephants were too heavy. And the cats were just being cats. The monkeys were looking like they could be right for the job. They just needed a good landing. Perfect! Santa was so happy. He announced, I declare that the monkeys will be my official sleigh pullers. 
The end. Thwomp. You know what this means. Snowball fight! <gasps> Unfortunately, the monkeys were too full of monkey business. With only three days left, the search continued. The dogs started out great as they soared through the trees. Then around the chimney with a perfect landing. Santa was so excited, he shouted out loud, I declare that the dogs will be my official, official sleigh pullers. The absolutely real and final end. Wait, what was that? Squirrel! Uh-oh. Now Santa was really worried and a little sore from the landing. There were only two more days left. He had considered almost all the applicants, and no animals had met all the job requirements. And there was only one job applicant left. Did the reindeer have what it takes? Work as a team? Check. Not as bouncy as a bunny? Check. Don't want to eat the elves. No thanks. Check. Lighter than an elephant. Check. Not at all stinky. Check. Not distracted by squirrels. Check. So far so good. Now for the test run. Through the trees, around the chimney, and onto the roof for a perfect landing. Nailed it! Yes! And from that night on, the not as bouncy as a bunny, but lighter than an elephant, and not at all stinky, mischievous, or distracted reindeer, were hired as Santa's official, official, official sleigh pullers. The end. For real this time. Yeah, we got this. See ya! So that was a funny story. And as Santa found out, not every animal would be very good at pulling his sleigh. The bats, well, they like to hang out in the chimneys. Slots are very slow. Sharks and goats, well, they like to chomp stuff. Can you think of some animals that can pull a sleigh? Well, actually, animals like horses and donkeys pull sleighs. And there are also dogs that can pull a sled. In fact, it's called a dog sled. Look at those cute colorful shoes that the dogs are wearing. Now, can you think of an animal that was not in the story that could pull a sled? Use your imagination and draw a picture. Perhaps you'll come up with something fun like gerbils or pigs or chickens. Now that would be funny. Or maybe a more practical animal. Use your imagination and think about why the animal would do a good job of pulling Santa's sleigh or even why the animal would not do a good job of pulling the sleigh and have fun. The holidays are full of fun sights and food too. So here's a quick sink or float activity that you can do using holiday items that you might have around the house this time of year. Let's take a closer look at that. You might have some fun shiny things 
around your house this time of year. And that's a perfect time to conduct a sink or flow experiment. All you'll need is a bowl or plastic box full of water and some items that can get wet that you can test, such as ribbons and bows, jingle bells, small plastic toys, beads, candy canes, or other food items. Items from nature like sticks, evergreens, or even pine cones. Whatever you might have that is safe for you to get wet that you might have around the house or even outside. First, you'll want to make a prediction whether you think that object is going to float or sink, and then go ahead and test it out and see if you were right. You want to try some food items that you have in your house, like cranberries. If you've ever seen cranberries cook, you'll know already if it sinks or floats. But if while they cook, they also pop a little bit. If you cut it open inside, this is what the inside of a cranberry looks like. And it might give you a clue as to why it might float or sink. I'll include a link in the description box below to these fun activities and more. I hope you had fun. I hope you keep exploring. And I'll see you next time. Or should I say next year. Happy holidays. Bye.